Okay, welcome back. It's been a while. Uh, actually, it's been like uh, 12 days to be exact. Maybe 13 now, actually, to be exact. Yeah, uh, let's not be exact. It's been a while. Last video I did was on the uh, Osmo Pocket 3, which I still love. And I just ordered some uh, V&Ds so that I can actually shoot with uh, 180 shutter angle on it. V&D mist filters, actually. But that's it for now. Uh, today we're not going to talk about that. Today we're going to talk about my new favorite lights, or my new favorite light, to be more exact. Um, it's from iFootage. And since you already know, I've been talking about it in a previous video, I do use my big key light, that's an iFootage SL320. So, uh, 320. so it's a bit bigger with a control box and everything. And then I reached out to iFootage uh, to see what uh, bicolor light they would recommend me. And they sent me this one. So iFootage sent me this one, but they have no say in <clears throat> what I'm saying uh, and my thoughts of it. So it's completely my, my view. Uh, my voice also. The show must go on, but I've been uh, I've been in bed uh, the last few days. I was moving, and then I kind kind of got a bug. So it was you know fever, sweating, coughing, everything. But I'm I'm back on track. I just sound a little bit sick in hand at the moment. Um, also, I'm actually shooting on the Panasonic Glumix S52X. Uh, yeah. I got rid of my Sony FX3, which is amazing. Uh, another video on that in the future. But so today, the iFootage SL1 130B and A. It's a bicolor light. It's super small, super lightweight. You can pack it in your camera bag, in your uh, carry-on for the flight. It's a mini balance, so you can also make it to a regular balance mount, so you can use regular soft boxes. But basically, this little one really packs a punch. And this, together with a few of the accessories that iFootage have right now, is amazing. I was doing a shoot in Sweden uh, a few days ago where I needed a, you know, just a spot that could kind of give a nice but powerful rim light. I'm gonna show some pictures of it as well. And one of the accessories with this light, it's this. You just snap it on. There. Still, you know, still a super lightweight, but you have a 15 to 50 degrees light intensifier and <clears throat> let me just show you. Also this light can be run both with USB-C or the regular cable. So I'm just showing, but literally what we can do is we can just, like you've all seen a light before, but this was so handy for me when I had a shoot because I literally just needed to hit just a teeny tiny bit of an edge of a shoe just to get light and this light intensifier was just amazing for that. Yeah. Yeah, so this this accessory it really, you know, intensifies the lights so much. It's so I mean as you can see, it's, uh, yeah, it was stupid. Now I'm kind of blinded, but, so this one, perfect. Also, as you can see here, you have so easy. You also can do this with the app and let's see. Yeah, it's so nice, it's so easy to use. So, yeah, light intensifier, an amazing tool. Another accessory that I got to try out with this was the Fresno. And I hadn't been doing a lot of uh, work with Fresnos before. Yeah, it's also a mini bones. 
Uh, I hadn't been doing a lot of work with Fresnels because pff, I did not know. But when I got this, it also, at the same time, uh, one of my colleagues here in the house where I work, he needed to emulate the sun in a shoot. So we literally used this light, as you can see here, as a sun during golden hour because he needed to be able to cut out so we put the sun from over i'm going to show just a little video clip of it so the sun just hit so the shadows fell properly because he was doing uh kind of a cutout and he needed to put his own arm in front of a stock footage so it was a, a super nice super easy little uh, project to test but these two accessories on top of it being a proper light for lighting, I've also used it for some interviews. I'm gonna show some clips from it here as well now. This is my new favorite light. It's cheap, like it's literally, it's 200 US dollars. So it's around 200 euros as well with taxes and stuff. It's powerful, it's easy to use, it's super versatile. I, I can't find anything that I don't like with it. And as it is right now, well, not really right now, it depends on when you see the movie, but from the 8th of December, iFootish is running a sale on their website. That means that with every light that you buy, if you add one of their accessories, like this Fresnel or this light intensifier, that means that you will get an extra 10% off from your purchase and it will just be automatically when you check it out and these lights are so incredibly you know cost effective that well, to be honest I'm probably gonna buy it myself as well and that's not just what I'm saying because I need a good lighting setup I've got one powerful lamp I have this but I would love to have one more because these lights are perfect either as a key light if you have you know, an ample amount of light, but also has a spot from behind. It's absolutely breathtaking. So hopefully you've got a good view of this light. I'm going to do some more content with them and also some more, uh, um, some more behind the scenes. But if any one of you are looking for light and you want a versatile, simple to use, easy to carry, bicolor light, the eye footage is definitely on the spot. That's, I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm just blown away with it. Yeah, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now. It's a video that's all in all positive. No bad things to say. Uh, well, it gets a little warm, but not as warm as a big light. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, more videos coming up. I'm trying to record two or three videos this week just to kind of catch up. Um, but yeah, check out the lights, uh, check it out in the description and, uh, you know, hit subscribe, like and subscribe, all those things that I always say for you guys to come back and thank you for watching. Bye.